Morning all. Right, this one's for Rob Scott, who asked, um, what's more important, a Luton with a tail or a Luton with a curtain? The truth of the matter is both, but there are pros and cons to both. So the advantage, the main advantage you've got with the curtain side is you can actually get longer loads on. So say for example, someone's got a mover pallet that's like three, four meters long, but not heavy, and they don't want to put it on a truck because that would be expensive, then they're going to want to book a curtain side. Um, the good thing about curtain sides, which is something I've loved since moving into trucks, is most things are forked on, forked off. Whereas if you're just running in a van, in a normal van, you can expect a load of handball. Having said that, where I am here, I'm going to pick up 34 boxes of handball. It does still happen. Um, and also, if you're clever about it, if you've got a tail lift and a pallet truck, there are ways of getting long pallets onto normal Lutons. But say it's heavy, say it's a machine or something, and it's heavy, it might weigh three quarters of a ton, you're gonna to want a curtain side, that way you're gonna come in your Luton. Also, because you've got the curtain, but you haven't got the tail, and because the curtain on the side of the Luton weighs less than wood, would if it's on the side of the Luton. A cur the right curtain sided van, right curtain sided Luton, I think I know a guy once who had his specially made out of aluminium, it could carry nearly two ton. So it wasn't far off what mine can carry, but on the whole, maybe a curtain sided Luton, you could probably get away with about one and a half ton. So that is the big advantage. You've got the weight advantage, you've got the fact that it loads quickly um, on the side, off the side. But then again, Sometimes they'll go, yeah, but it's got to be taken off for a pallet truck. It's got to be, you know, when you get, we, we, we forked on when you get there, it's a pallet of tiles. Forked on when you get there, but when you get to the customer's delivery address, it's got to come off the tail lift, which then knocks your job on the road. The other disadvantage with Luton's with curtain sides, unless you're going to go from it from scratch, chances are if you buy a second-hand Luton with a curtain side and no tail, it's an ex-courier van. And if it's an ex-courier van, it would have had the life knocked out of it. Alternatively, box Lutons with tail lifts, they tend to be X, um, you know, sort of B higher or Northwood, and they've been used by people on Saturdays and Sundays to move their kids out of their, 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 like their university digs or to move grandma around the corner or just to pick up something. That They tend to be less worn in, they're more readily available. Um, the disadvantage is, of course, is you can't side load, you can't carry quite so much weight. Uh, but easier to get hold of and you know easy to get hold of and they still work just the same also sometimes they will ask for a box very not not very often but sometimes curtain sides are no good i had to move aeroplane tires once <laughs> the aeroplane tires they kind of they roll around a bit they need something so you need something that you need walls to strap them to so the best thing i would say to do is probably start off with what i did or what I wish I'd done is I started off in a Luton with a box with a tail lift and didn't get it converted. To get the side converted, to get a curtain put on, and it depends on your area and who you're going with, it's probably about 1,400 quid. Um, and I think you would probably get that money back in three months. For that time when you're going down, because it's that thing you do and you're always going to do it. Trust me, whichever van you buy is going to be wrong. I always recommend... Um, you said that before I go like, yeah, so them times when you get a job from Luton to Southampton and then there's a job coming up, oh, Luton van, Southampton to Luton, oh, it needs a curtain. Oh, there's one here from Portsmouth to Milton Keynes, oh, it needs a curtain. And then you run back. What you, the, why I always recommend Luton with a tail lift the curtain is you try and get the van that can do as many jobs as possible. In that van, you can do most jobs. If a small van job comes up and you've got a very long way to go, you can quote on it. If you're the only guy in the area, you can quote real money. If a medium wheelbase, there will be times when you know it goes, no, it needs a flatbed. Or a small van, you go, oh, but I can still do it, I'm in a Luton. No, it's got to go into a car park. I can't because the height restriction. But on the whole, the Luton curtain tail is the one that does the most job. Which which is more important? It's I don't think it's a matter of which one is more important. I reckon you could flip a coin on that one. Probably if you had to go either way, I'd go for the curtain over the tail. The problem being, they're just not that easy to come by. So if you want my recommendation, probably get yourself a decent second-hand box Luton with a tail, run it for a month or two, get the hang of it, then get the curtain put in. Hope it helps. Take, that's uh, me. I'm here early, so I'm probably waiting, but I'm on break, talking to you guys. So that's it. Take care. Take money.